Hello, I'm David. I'm Jim. All of us at Cartoon Pizza would like to say welcome. Jim! Sorry. We know you have a choice in what you watch on your TV. So thank you for choosing Hoop Dogs. We have spared no expense in bringing you not one, but three exciting stories about commandment number one. You shall have no other gods before me. That simply means... God is number one, okay? God number one, okay? God number one, okay? Jim! Okay? In our first story, V.J. Bumpus learns the hard way that Mom's rules, like God's rules, are to protect us and make our lives happier. Well, what are we waiting for, man? Let's roll the hoop dog! Roll it! Rolly dooly dee Roll the hoopy hoopy dog! Roll yeah. it! Roll it! Yeah. Yeah. to meet Yao Ling. BJ, I've never seen you so excited about a panda. Yao Ling is not a panda, Mom. He's the greatest basketball player ever. I know, I'm just messing with you. Very funny. Oh, look, the Ferris wheel. That was my favorite ride when I was a little girl. Mercy me! What have they done to my Ferris wheel? Mom, they souped it up. Say what? That's just the greatest new ride in the park! The Brain Scrambler! Oh, yeah. I saw something on the news about that ride. Some doctors think it really can harm your brain. But, Mom... You have such a nice brain, VJ. I do not want it scrambled. But everyone else is gonna. VJ, you can go on any other ride in the park, but no son of mine is going on the brain scrambler. But everybody's gonna think I'm a big baby. I'm sorry, honey, but that's the rule. Well, how come? Listen to me, VJ. I make rules to protect you and make you happy, and I expect you to obey them. Are we straight? Yes, Mama. Hey, VJ! What are we waiting for? Let's get busy! Yeah, oh. here we come! Kali Ali! Kali Ali! It's finally here, the day we waited for, and we're right where we wanted to be! We're gonna ride every ride that there is to ride and eat everything that we see! The Whirl and Hurl has enough G-forces that will feel like our heads might explode! Then we'll chase each other on the crusher cars till we're shaking by the side of the road! We'll get scared to pieces in the house of the street. We won't be sleeping for the rest of the week. Collie Island, Collie Island, today we're gonna have a ball. That's why we love Collie Island. It's the funnest place of all. We'll wait online for an hour at the mega coaster and we'll scream when it hits the big drop. We'll eat cotton candy and sugar-coated biscuits till the toothache makes us stop. We'll spend $20 trying to win a plastic whistle we could buy for less than a dime. The gut buster dropped seven stories and back. Now that's what I call a good time. We'll ride the raft until we feel our bones crunch. We'll know it's time for supper when we lose our lunch. Collie Island, Collie Island, today we're gonna have a ball. That's why we love Collie Island. It's the funnest place of all. <laughs> Let's do the brain scramble. All right. Uh, shouldn't we try to find Yao Ling first? He's the guy we came here to see. 
Yeah, let's go find him. Then it's scrambled brain. Oh, man. Mom told me I couldn't ride the brain scrambler. Okay, kids, let's go on the brain scrambler. Brain scrambler. Yeah, that sounds good. Hey, 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 little doggies. You guys ready for some good times? We're next, we're next. Um, guys, I have to tell you something. What is it, VJ? My mom, she said I'm not allowed to ride the brain scrambler. Boy, VJ, you're a big baby. Huh? Kidding, kidding. Look, if you can't ride it, then we won't either. Right, Wiener? Yeah, the hoop dogs have to stick together. Wow. Thanks, guys. You're the best. Yo, dogs, you're up. <laughs> what happened? I guess we're on the ride. Yo, little man, you in, you out, dog. Uh, 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 oh, man. So, you coming? Well, see, um. Come on, dog. This ride's not going anywhere without you on it. Oh, I'm sorry, Mama. They're good to go! Hey, I thought you were coming too! Are you kidding? That ride will scramble your brains! VJ, I'm so sorry! It all happened so fast! We didn't know what we were doing! This is not a problem! There's no way my mom will find out! Hello, good people! This is Chad Dimple! Is your child on the brain scrambler? Say what? Let's find out. Mother seemed to find out everything. Nah, she won't find out. Whoa. I think I just got my brain scrambled. Oh, I'm sick as a dog. VJ, you are a dog? A very sick dog. Uh-oh. Something's wrong with the ride. How do you know? There's something wrong with this ride! Oh. Ah! I'm sure they'll get us down. We can't stay up here forever. Somehow, I feel like this is all my fault. Why would this be all your fault? Because I disobeyed my mama and got in this ride, even though she told me not to. Yeah, maybe it is your fault. Huh? Maybe it's like the story of Jonah in the Bible. Oh, yeah. I love the part when the storm finally stops because they throw him off the boat. <laughs> Flash! This just in. A bunch of young persons are stuck on the brain scrambler ride. Let's Mercy go to the video. me, I knew that ride was no good. This is totally not my idea of a good time. I wish I listened to my mom. Well, you can listen to her now. Here she comes. Huh? Oh, no. This is bad. No, no, no. This is good. Your mom's going to rescue us. Good for us. Bad for you. Relax, kids. I'm here to help. Hi, Mrs. Bumpus. Hey, Mama. <laughs> BJ? What am I doing here? <laughs> BJ, when your mother came in, she looked very upset. Yeah. Okay, so what happened? Mom was mad because she told me not to go on the brain scrambler. And I did it anyway. Ooh, that is bad. Yeah, but she crowned me for a month. And it's totally not fair. Why did you do it, BJ? Well, everybody else was going on the ride. Was it worth it? It was totally not worth it. You know, VJ, your mother gives you rules because she loves you. I know. It's like when God gave us the Ten Commandments because he loves us. You know what the first commandment is? Have no other gods before me? God number one. <laughs> That's right, little man. Okay, VJ, it's time for you and Hutney to wash up for dinner. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes I don't know what to do with that boy. BJ just completely disobeyed me. Hmm. 
I remember when a little girl broke my rule and rode the Ferris wheel all by herself. Made herself sick. <gasps> that was me. I had forgotten all about that. I disobeyed you and got sick. I can't believe I did that. It happens. Hmm. I think I need to have a little talk with VJ. Hey, VJ. You okay? Hey, Mama. I'm really sorry I disobeyed you. I know you are, VJ. You know, I only give you rules because... Because you love me. God always wants what's best for us. Though sometimes it's hard to see that through his rules and by his will, he shows his love for you and me. God's way is always best. Follow him, you'll be safe and strong. You can put God's word to the test. Obey his rules and you'll never go wrong. What do you say we all go to Kali Island tomorrow and not ride the brain scrambler? Woohoo! And you're grounded for, let's say, a week. Okay. Hmm. Better than a month. Thanks, Mom. Love you. <laughs> Better than a month! <laughs> yes, well, it looks like VJ learned that Mom makes rules just like God does. Because he's the boss, right? The one with all the power? Wrong, Jim. It's because he loves us and wants us to be happy. And that's real power. Wow, David. If only we could see a Bible story about God's power, that would make me happy. Well, I have good news. The Wobble Hill players are going to do a play. <gasps> oh, goody! It's about the prophet Elijah offering a sacrifice to the one and only God, while the false prophets found out that Baal is not the real God. False prophets bad! Baal really bad! Woo! Stop it. Sorry. And now a Bible play from 1 Kings chapter 18 about God being number one. The Wobble Hill Players proudly present Elijah the Musical. In 1 Kings chapter 18. A long time ago in Israel, the times were kind of hard. King Ahab and Queen Jezebel told the people to turn their backs on God. started worshiping a false god named Baal. And all the while, Ahab the king was searching for Elijah to throw him in jail. Israel, oh Israel, look what your false gods have gotten you. You've got famine and you've got drought, but God has not forgotten you. Hello, Elijah, you troublemaker. Hello, Ahab, you foolish king. It's been a long time since we had any rain. You and Jezebel caused everything. What? Well, I've never been so insulted. Go tell the people to come and gather here and bring your false prophets once you make something perfectly clear. Say. Elijah set up a competition to see who's the real God and who's a liar. Both sides set up a sacrifice and prayed to their God to start the fire. <clears throat> Elijah, Elijah, there's no other prophet beside you. Everyone took Elijah's advice and prepared Ow. the bulls for surrounded the altar and started to pray that Baal would send the fire down their way. Come on and burn. Send down some fire. Turn up this altar and 
Are you burning yet? Actually, it's chilly. Did you know that sometimes even grown-ups get mixed up and forget about God's power? <gasps> no! Yes, and here to prove it is Chad Dimple and Rebecca Ruth St. Esther Eve. Are you telling me grown-ups make mistakes? Well, yes. Chad gets mixed up about his mission when he accidentally orders 4,000 snow tires. <gasps> That's a big mistake! It's okay, Jim. With Rebecca's help, Chad figures out that by helping others, he's making God number one. That's beautiful, David. Yes, it is, Jim. <laughs> Hold me. There, there. Let's watch. Okay. And now it's time for Chad Dimple and Rebecca Ruth St. Esther Eve. Hello, good people. I'm Chad Dimple. And I'm Rebecca Ruth St. Esther Eve. And this is Monkey. <laughs> 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 yes, and this is Monkey. Chad, darling, your hair. Yes, I do have hair. <laughs> Note to self, get Robot Monkey. Good people, do you know that God loves you this much? This much! And because God loves you, he wants you to be happy. Oh, happy day! Today's happy commandment is the first, which reads... Ow! Sure. No! <sighs> you shall have no other gods before me. In other words, God is number one. Number one! That's numero uno for those of you watching in Spanish. Oh, right! Oh. <laughs> now, back to happiness. You know, God had a good idea when he made the first commandment, commandment number one. Good people, don't let anything get between you and God. You know, there's a story told of a foolish little monkey who one day was hung. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Be happy! What in the name of grilled cheese is going on here? Got your snow tires. Snow tires? What kind of a monkey brain would do such a thing? Didn't you order some snow tires just the other day? Don't start, Rebecca. Says here you ordered 4,000 tires. What? Hmm, I can't see a thing without my reading glasses. Uh, well, looky there. That is my signature, but... Chad, honey, were you wearing your glasses when you signed the contract? Well, uh, you know they make me look silly. Hey, wait! <laughs> no, look at Monkey! Isn't he cute? Mm. He loves those tires. Mm. Yes, he does. Oh, for the love of Monkey, let him buy them. What are we going to do with all these snow tires? Not a clue, Rebecca. My mind's a blank. 
It's not like we can sell snow tires on our TV show. Oh, an idea just came over me, Rebecca. What's that, honey? We'll sell the snow tires on our TV show. But Chad, honey, our TV show is about spreading happiness to people, not snow tires. It's a ministry. Ah. Rebecca, there is no I in ministry. Huh? Mm. Hello, good people. It's me, Chad Dimple. Uh, today, we start the lesson about the first commandment, have no other gods but God. You know, when I wake up on a beautiful day like today, I say to myself, Chad. And then I say, what is it, Chad? And then I say, are you prepared? And I answer Chad back and I say, prepared for what? And then I say, prepared for winter. And then I say, huh? And then I say, there's no better way to prepare for winter than getting yourself a brand new set of snow tires. And then I say, well, that's a lot of hooey. And then I get mad. And now I'm not talking to myself, which brings me to my point. I have completely lost my train of thought. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, no, gone again. Hello, friends. <laughs> Welcome to Chad and Rebecca's Ten Commandment Bible Trivia Challenge. It's challenging and it's trivial. Thanks, Rebecca. Okay, young person, are you ready for your first question? Yes, sir. Go, Rebecca. What is the first commandment? I have no <laughs> I shall have snow tires. Chad? Sorry, that was completely wrong. Anybody? Yes, precious? I have no other gods but God. That's it, young person. You've won the challenge. Show this Bible scholar what she's won. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> it's a brand new set of snow tires. But I don't even have a car. Well, you'll want one now that you have these great new tires. Oh, happy day! Sing us a snow tire song, Rebecca. But I don't know any snow tire songs. Sing it loud, Rebecca. Snow tires. When you're driving down the freeway of life, you better take some action. You don't want to face those dangerous curves and hills without some heavenly traction. <laughs> you need a snow tire of faith to keep you going strong. A snow tire of hope in case the trip is long. A snow tire of peace to guide you over the ice. A snow tire of love, cause love is always nice. And if the devil doesn't like it, we will roll right over him. How? With a new set of my roll over the devil's snow tires. You need some steel belts and radio to finish what you've started. Big tires with spinners to help you stay lighthearted. Red side assistance program to assist you on the road. Hydroplane resistant treading so you don't crash and explode. You know, all these snow tires remind me of a true story. Red tires are huh? coming so you cannot delay. You need snow tires to roll. persons is what could happen to you if you don't have a good set of snow tires. Oh, look at the time. Good night, and may all your dreams be about snow tires. Ugh, oh, good gravy. I am poop. Ugh, so tired. There's a tire. There's a tire. Have I died and gone to heaven? And if this is heaven, why do I have to go to the bathroom? Oh, Rebecca, you're an angel. A very round, snow tire shaped angel. No, Chad, I'm the snow tire fairy. 
Oh, tell me this is a dream, Rebecca. Yes, Chad. This ah. is a dream. Oh, good. Now I feel better about talking to a snow tire with big hair. <gasps> is it me or is it just a tad breezy out here? <gasps> ah, my hair! on the hoop dog basketball court all along. <laughs> you hoo young person. They can't hear you, Chad. Come on, we're going on a little trip. Oh, goody, I saw this part in the movie. You take me to Christmas past, then Christmas present, then Christmas future, and it's all spooky. And I go, oh, that's spooky. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, dizzy. Hey. What happened to the basketball court? People stopped worrying about the kids and started worrying about their snow tires. Ooh, this place gives me the willies. Well, since we can't play basketball, what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Hey, I know. Let's go sin. Yes, I sin. like sin. Did you hear that, Rebecca? We've got to do something pronto. Chad, I checked. Did you know there are two eyes in ministry? There are? Yes, Chad, darling, and I think those two eyes are you and me. Why, you're right, Rebecca. You know, there's a story of a foolish young donkey who <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Wake up, Chad! You're having a bad dream! Help! Help! Help, Rebecca! I should have asked for God's help! Ooh. <laughs> Rebecca, I had a bad dream that gave me a wonderful idea. Now I know what to do with all those tires. Oh, happy day! <laughs> it's beautiful, Chad! Thanks for making this great playground, Mr. Temple. Yeah, it's great. We're so happy to do something good for you kids. <laughs> and for Monkey too. <laughs> We're glad you like your new playground. And maybe it'll even help you remember something very important. What, Mr. Dimple? Never get tired of obeying God. Well, David, even grown-ups can forget that God is number one. Yes, but we always have forgiveness and God's grace to get us through. Okay, bye. Hey, Jim, where are you going? The snow tires are coming. Jim, the snow tires are not real. They're a metaphor, a, a symbol, a figure of... <laughs> Told you. Said, have no other gods but God to worship, I don't just want to be careful with the way you use God's name and keep something special too. Honor your parents, don't take any lives, and when you're old enough to marry, be true. Do not steal a lie or want those things that don't belong to you. These are ten simple rules God gave to me. And have no other gods but God to worship idols just won't do Be careful with the way you use God's name and keep something special too Honor your parents, don't take any lives And when you're old enough to marry, be true Do not steal a lie or want those things that don't belong to you These 
Titan Sample Room.